Hi, my name is Sasha Jardine and I'm a research project manager in Dr. Alexo Muse's lab here at the SickKids Research Institute. I spend my day doing science experiments to learn about diseases that cause problems in the digestive system. If we can figure out how a disease causes a problem, we can find medicine to help kids feel better. There are two types of researchers, those that explore and search for questions and those that search for answers. My job is to discover drugs for diseases that don't have a cure. I do what's called translational research, hmm? where we turn what we learn from science experiments into medicine and treatment for people. Our work goes from a lab bench to a patient's bedside. Imagine you need to build a tower. It doesn't get built all at once. Brick by brick or experiment after experiment adds layers to the tower until you have so much information that you can understand enough about a disease to treat it and maybe find a cure. And this is why research can take so long. But what if there was a way to take the design of one tower and use it to quickly make another? Our team studies a very rare disease called TTC7A deficiency, which is caused by a specific gene damaging variation. These types of variations occur within the DNA of an organism. Our genes, part of our cell that controls or influences the appearance, growth, and so much more of a living thing. The disease caused by this gene variation affects kids and causes severe immune and intestinal problems, which could lead to feeding tubes and surgeries. And unfortunately, around two thirds of those with this disease pass away before their first birthday. With only 60 patients known internationally, it's very hard to do research on this disease. Plus, it usually takes 10 or more years and over $1 billion to get a drug to a patient. But then we thought, what if we could use a drug that's already been used and proven to be safe and use it to treat a different disease like TTC7A deficiency? But how do you do that? With robots and fish. Looking at every approved drug one at a time would take a very long time. But with robots testing dozens and dozens of drugs every cycle, we can test thousands and thousands of already approved drugs very quickly. This is a special type of experiment called a drug screen, which is really thousands of mini experiments done in these multi-well plates. A multi-well plate is the size of your palm and allows us to perform 96 different experiments at one time. So this robot can hold our 96 well plates and here's the robotic head that can hold 96 pipette tips. A pipette tip allows scientists to release a very small amount of liquid for an experiment. When we see that a drug has made a change, this tells us that the drug may help the disease. And while testing drugs on samples of this disease, we got some positive results. Specifically, one drug called lafunamide, which is normally used to treat severe arthritis, another immune disease that causes pain in the joints. To see if lafunamide can help patients, we first used zebrafish. Let's go see the fish. Scientists know almost everything about a zebrafish's genetics. It grows and reproduces so quickly that we can do our research fast. But how does this help with research? Using special technology, we can edit the zebrafish's genetics to see how it reacts to the disease. And these fish show the same issues that patients do. This technology is called CRISPR, which can cut out a healthy gene from the fish, like taking a piece out of a machine. We feed these CRISPR fish fluorescent food, and by using a microscope that can detect the glow, we can see the shape of their gut, 
which resembles the patients with the disease. So here we are with our zebrafish larvae that are seven days old. We're gonna take a closer look at them using this microscope. To see if leflunamide can help patients, we first had to use zebrafish. And these fish with their guts, when given leflunamide, got better. We then needed to make sure the drugs worked in humans. So we tested leflunamide on cells taken from a patient with the disease. It also showed very positive results. Because of this research, doctors have been able to use this treatment to help patients around the world, with good results and improvement to their quality of life. But the search isn't over yet. Maybe there are more drugs or even combination of drugs out there with similar or even better results. And each of these drugs needs to be tested so we have a long way to go. There are many more diseases without cures, and this means more research, more testing and discovery of new uses for old drugs. Test, test, science, kid science. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm so nice. Or swimming. <laughs>